Skill Crusher, this is a flex zone. A flex box zone, that is. Flexbox is a layout system that controls the position and alignment of content in the form of rows or columns. The true magic of Flexbox is that it lets you easily change the layout of HTML elements from one screen size to another by switching the layout from rows to columns or vice versa. Thanks, Flexbox! Flexbox organizes web content into a main axis and a cross axis. The main axis is the orientation of how your content is laid out. When your content is laid out in a row, the main axis is horizontal. However, when your content is in a column, the main axis is vertical. The cross axis is perpendicular to the main axis. So if you've set your main axis to be a row, the cross axis will be vertical. The cross axis is used to align content. For instance, if you have your content laid out in a row, you can adjust the cross axis to align your content vertically by centering it between the top and bottom of the row. Or if you have your elements laid out in a column, you can use the cross axis to align the content horizontally by centering it in the middle of the column. Here's a quick example. Let's say you want the product on your website to display in a single column when viewed on a mobile device. But on a desktop, you want to display the content in three columns to really show off the variety of your product selection. So on the mobile site, you'll set the main axis to column, but on the desktop version, you'll set the main axis to row. To start using Flexbox, you'll need to learn a few key Flexbox properties. What's that? You're dying to see? Okay, let's take a look. Imagine that you want to add a logo to a website you're working on. You want the logo to appear in a column on mobile, but on desktop, you want the image to be on the right of the screen. After adding the logo to your site, you'll use the display property, which indicates the layout system you want to use. You'll set the display property to flex because you're using Flexbox to place your content. You'll add the display property to the banner class to create a flex container. A flex container is the element that houses the items in the flex box. Flex box items are the elements you'll control the alignment and position of. Secondly, you'll use the flex direction property. Flex direction specifies whether the flex items are laid out in a column or a row. Let's start with a column since that's how the mobile version of your site will look. Mobile first, baby. Third, you'll use the Align Items property. Align Items lets you decide how to align your items along the cross axis. Since flex direction is set to column, the main axis of the site is currently vertical and the cross axis is horizontal. So setting Align Items to center will move the image horizontally. Now, Let's adjust the layout when the minimum width is over 1024 pixels. You'll use flex direction again, but this time you'll set it to the value of row. Next, you'll center the content along the row. Because flex direction is set to row, the main axis is now horizontal, not vertical as it was in the mobile layout. The justify content property aligns content along the main axis. You'll write, Now, the site automatically changes from a column to a row when the screen size increases. Fancy! One last change. Let's say you decide you want the logo to be at the top in the mobile version. No need to change the HTML. You can reverse the column order by modifying the flex direction property by writing Now, the logo is placed front and center in the mobile version 
and to the right in the desktop version. Looking sharp. Are you feeling Flexbox fever? I know I sure am. Click next to start working with these essential Flexbox properties.